Hey guys. All right. I promised in the last one that I was going to do this. I got a little set off of Amazon and um, it was basically a cake decorating set. Uh, I got it for under 30 bucks um, and it came with smoothers, which I use as the swiping tool. You can see I've been um, I'm sure I'll find a use for those at some point. Also came with a couple of spatulas that I can use for slice as well. I meant to have it out for you, but I didn't. The metallic one. The plastic one that I have has got the weird concave underneath, so it always gives me a funky dimension. And then I noticed it came with one of these. It also came with a couple of little tiny silicone mats that I use to dry small things. Um, silicone spatula uh, and shout out to Canela. it kind of reminds me of her little spatula but on a smaller scale so I was like oh cute yeah I'm sure I'll use that at some point um, okay so this is a 14 by 14 I set out a box put one of these puppy pads underneath which is dry but um, that way it kind of catches any splatters that I may have. And then I, you, if you look at it this way, you set it in the box, you think, oh great, make sure you turn it all the way around and make sure none of the edges touch. And it could slide around a little bit. So I reinforced it because I didn't want the cake spinner to sit directly on the canvas because then it presses up the inside of the canvas. So I took a piece of cardboard, cut it to width, this is, like I said, a 14 by 14. And then I put two pieces of tape on the inside and just, just to keep it squared on the canvas so the canvas, as you spin it, doesn't go whoosh. You don't get that centrifugal force throwing it off. Same thing, and then, and then um, put a piece of painter's tape, folded it around, taped it to this. So then you set it in here and you think, oh, that looks fine. Well, then move it around a little bit. Spin it a couple of times and see if it moves, where does it move to? Because you don't want to go to spin it and then have it catch the edge of the box, okay? Like that. So then we center it this way and that way. gloves of course because as you spin so what I'm thinking is just doing like a basic like maybe a puddle pour um, I don't use the uh, bloom technique the Sheely thing uh, but something kind of like that I'll kind of blow it out a little bit then I'll spin it and see where it goes I know this is a big canvas for trying that out but um, if it doesn't work I'll spin it another way and do something else with it um, but this is what I had and um, so, go big or go home. Alright, I'm going to lay down a little bit of titanium white. Just mix this. <clears throat> and I know I've mentioned this before, but when I mix a separate cup of something that I know I'm going to use a lot of or if I don't have it pre-mixed and I just do it specifically for a project and I do it in a cup like that I have one of these cups that I've measured you know I've done water back and forth measure so I know where on the cup these little divots these little lines represent something that's not moving much there's my consistency I don't want to thin it out too much more than that, I don't think. We'll see. Just a little goo. Not goo, but top of grass. Pop that on a little bit more on there. Lots of air bubbles. 
course, I just mixed it, pouring it straight on, so. I don't know what I expect. All right. Oh, see how it's moving? As I'm, the pad is moving. So let's do this. This is just a reinforced bottom. Piece of painter's tape. Don't want my. I don't want to know too much when I do this. one he said it was a cheap set so you get what you pay for or you get what you don't pay for all right so that's pretty good um i'm trying to use up the rest of these so what i'm gonna do let's try to pour it These don't want to pour. So I've got the nylons tied around the top so that I'm keeping my goobers out of, so I'm wiping off the top of the nylon to make sure there's no, where the paint has stuck to the nylon and then that's what gunk into my piece too. No, thank you. So I'm gently wiping that off. Turquoise. But I've never had this problem before, but these some of these bottles sat for so long. a huge chunk in that blue that's on the other side of the nylon. Ugh. I think that's why I had to do that spray.
après. Okay, I'm going to skip over a whole bunch of the layering and just skip ahead. Okay, hopefully this box will keep me from putting my chest into it as well. <clears throat> cool. Okay, I know this is getting a little long, uh, so I'm speeding this up here, but just wanted to let you know what I'm doing. I'm just filling in the edges uh, with a little bit of extra white paint so it can uh, continue to spread out as I spin it. Um, I wish I would have put more white underneath it or more paint underneath it before I started, but part of the learning process, right? I'll know for next time. All right, so I'm going to speed this up and uh, see you when it's done.
Ainda agora. Hum. Tem aqui mesmo. No fancy mixtures. Just in one pocket. the lid to my white every time I pour. Every time. Time to go wash out some bottles. Maybe I'll do another one of these because I like it. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you like it. Thumbs it up if you do. If you want to. So pretty.